what's up? <laughs> so this is my trunk. This is what I take when I go on trips or vacations or anything. And it's got a little lock on it, so it's nice. And it's got wheels and handles, so I can literally fit everything I need in here to supply myself for like two weeks. I mean, like literally. So this is what I picked up or bought. This is my haul slash pickup video. So first things first. I'm going to start with day one. Before we even went, I printed off the, I didn't even know what you would call this, itinerary, like all that shit that's going on. And then on the back, I have the map of the convention, but you can pause that if you want or look it up online. And then down here, I have the address for the convention, our hotel, and the concert. And then that way, it was so easy just to like Google Maps that shit going back and forth. Or, like, if I need to know what time they open or something. I don't know. I mostly use it just for the Google Maps. The only ticket I have left is this one because I did not go to the first concert. I went to just the second concert. So I don't have that ticket anymore. But this is the only one I have left. So you turn in your ticket. And they give you a badge. And I actually heard people bitching and complaining about this. Like, that it's cheap or whatever, and it's not cheap, for one. And two, our tickets are $40 for three days and two concerts, and you're going to bitch about them cutting costs? Like, <laughs> really? But you also get this, which is very similar to what I laminated and printed out, but laminating and printing out was so that I could be pulling it in and out of my bag and not have to worry about damaging this. You know what I'm saying? Because that's laminated. If it gets sticky or dirty, I can just wipe it down. It's not going to get tore up. But this has the same thing on the back. Um, it does have a map, too. And then in here, it just kind of goes into details of what everything is. And most of this was on the website, too. But it's kind of nice to have a little plan like that. There's a planner, a little whatever. Okay. So day one. Shall we start with this? I entered the art contest. And this was what I entered. It's the riddle box, but you get to, um, when we got there, you got a little piece of paper, and I'll show you here. I'm just going to cover up my name. But we got this little like contestant, I was contestant number four, Art Zing, and you got to name your project and I named it the Jewelry Box because the Riddle Box, the Jewelry Box, and you go put jewelry in it, so I did not win, unfortunately, that kind of sucked. I thought this was pretty cool. I worked really hard on it and I kind of mocked this after the Riddle Box tour on stage. They had a big giant Riddle Box on stage. And they had the trim like this, and so that's kind of where I got the idea from with the trim and then the trim on the bottom. Now this is the only thing, it's not finished down here. I do want to put some black felt, but I ran out of time, though they didn't see that. No one ever picked it up, <laughs> so that was lucky there. But Tom Wood himself judged them, and I will say one thing. I'm not trying to, like, complain or anything, but all three winners were all three paintings. I'm just saying, I'm not saying he did that on purpose. I'm just saying there was a lot of other cool stuff there that wasn't paintings. And the three winners were all painting. That, that's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. But there was this, which was woodworking. There was someone who actually made a board game. And it was pretty cool. Like, I think he should have won second, for sure. Like, that was pretty cool. And then somebody actually took bricks and, like, engraved it. Um, a hatchet man, a hatchet girl, and then they engraved, like, 17. It was so cool. And, like, if you were building something, how cool that would be to put it in, right? Okay. But first place winner was this huge, massive painting. And here's the painting itself. And every time I looked at it, I just see new things that I didn't see before. And the guy who won, he was super cool, super nice, super nice guy. And he gave us these prints for free. We had hit up a few times before that and whatnot. He was a super nice guy. So 
last day we were leaving, he's like, hey, did you want to print? And I was like, yeah, of course, man. So I'm going to frame this and we're going to hang it up in our apartment because it's a dope-ass painting. He definitely did a really good job. Everyone in that contest did a good job. Someone even made jewelry, too. I forgot to mention that. So pretty cool. So I'm definitely going to frame that, man. If you're watching, thank you. Uh, let's see. I guess we can go through these little things real quick. One of our friends that we met, apparently he makes music, so he gave us this little sticker, so I still gotta go check out his shit. Bagel Lovers gave me the sticker, so I'm gonna put that on my trunk. I got a couple flyers here. Just like advertisement and stuff. Yeah, sorry, that's a trash truck outside, that annoying. And then this guy came up to us. This guy right here. And he recognized us from our YouTube videos. And he was so cool. Like, just so down-to-earth, chill dude. And we were kind of, like, talking for a little bit. And apparently he makes music. And he was nice enough to actually, right then and there, gave us a CD of his music. And then a pen. And it says, Black Flag Music. And I actually recognized this decal on a car that we seen at our hotel. So I was like, dude, are you at Super 8? And he was like, yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> you parked next to us. So, Headshot Louie Demo. So, and there's his website. So I'm definitely going to listen to this and probably do a review. I'm not sure if DC's going to do one. Um, maybe try to talk him into doing like one together maybe or something. Um, but yeah, he seems super nice, super cool dude. Just like easy going. He wasn't like pushy, you know, like, yo, review my stuff. He wasn't like that at all. He was really cool. So, um, <laughs> I dropped it. I got some bouncy balls out of a gumball machine. Because I like to bounce bouncy balls off of stuff all the time. And I constantly am losing them because I'm like throwing them as hard as I can. They, you know, so whatever. Then next to, well, it was in the same building, but it was like next to the convention or whatever. They had this huge indoor flea market, and I picked up this, y'all. I was so excited! Because that was like the cheapest I found it was $10. And this is brand new, still in the package, so I will be doing a review on this soon. I'm excited. Uh, this shirt, we'll move on to clothing. So this shirt you probably have already seen if you watch my videos from the unboxing of our tickets. That way I could wear that day one. We made the mistake when we got there. <laughs> we did not take anything but short sleeves and we fucking froze our asses off. And I seen they had these bomb ass hoodies. Oh yes. And then the front has an actual patch like an actual hard patch this is like good quality and this sweatshirt is so soft I can't even tell you it is like so comfy and they didn't have the size that I wanted so I had to get a size two sizes too big and then later I was told Kenny I was like you need to go get a hoodie man they're not gonna last and they're like so soft and so awesome I mean come on man that's a real fucking patch right and did you not see the back of it? It's awesome. And so I told him, I said, go back and get a size smaller. And then I'll give you mine. And then I'll take his. So we went back to go get another hoodie and they were gone. Sold out completely. And it really kind of sucked because, like, people swarmed it. You know, and, uh, like, the tour shirts, the tear wheel shirt and stuff. They sold a hundred and five minutes. Yeah, there was like no chance we would have got that. So that was my sweatshirt I got. And then on the last day, I had a little bit of extra money left over. So I decided to just go ahead and spend it because I really wanted a Malenko shirt. I don't have one. So now I have one. So I was really happy about that because I ha now I, I have Riddle Box and I have Amazing Jackal Brothers, but I don't have Malenko. And Malenko is one of my favorite albums. So. And then also the last day when I got that shirt, the guy at the merch booth gave us this free, I don't know what you call it, a lanyard. But he said they had a bunch of 
leftover extras, so they were just giving them out. But it says the 10th annual gathering of the Juggalos. Which I like that they give this stuff away from free, even though it's like I didn't go to that gathering. It's so cool. You know, and if I don't want it or I don't use it or something, I can always give it to somebody who would. You know what I mean? And then, these were being handed out. And there's actually quite a few things in here. Just drop something. Okay, we're going to do the little things first because if not, I'm going to drop that shit all over the place. So it has a little guitar pick and a little pen and a bracelet. Stir crazy music. And that has a flyer. A baseball card? I don't really understand this. I'm going to have to research it. <laughs> and then... No CD. And you know what, though? I think I should review this one, too, because... Oh! Oh, show you the business card inside! The surprise, surprise! Pop it out. And this is actually, like, you can tell someone did this by hand or whatever. But, like, legit, they did a damn good job. You know what I'm saying? Like, they did a good job to make this shit look legit. Props to you, man. I'm definitely going to do a review now. Because you... I could tell work went into this, and I know... I know what that's like. I've made CDs and stuff, so... Alright, and last thing, man. Tried to go to a few gas stations to find some different flavors that we don't have at home, but they go. And we found this one. And yeah, we already started drinking it. <laughs> If you watch my vlogs, you know we did like a little taste test of that. And then also we found this one. This one we've not opened yet. I'm waiting for Kenny to get home so we can try it together. So yeah, that was everything in my tote. It's empty. So. That was my haul and my pickup. So like always, thanks for watching. If my vlogs are up, I have four Dark Carnival Game Convention vlogs up. So go check them out. I will definitely put them on the end screen. And yeah. Have an awesome day, man. If you couldn't make it, I'm sorry you missed it. You missed it. You missed the thing of the year. It was so awesome. But hopefully they'll keep doing them every year. And hopefully you can make it next year. Like always, thanks for watching.